Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you the basics of creating a quiz in Google Forms. Let's go ahead and get started. Select blank and we'll give this quiz a title of sample quiz number nine. Now, in my upper right hand corner, let's choose our settings. Now, depending upon your school's domain, if you're in a G Suite for Education domain, your administrator may have already set a, de a default to limit access to only people within the domain. Um, I'm going to collect email addresses here, and now I'm going to select limit and in quizzes, we'll choose make this a quiz. We can allow grades to be released immediately to students. We can also see uh, the information that they can get about their results. You can also save that for a manual review, which you might want to do if you're giving the same quiz to multiple sections of a course within the same day or within the same week so the kids don't pass the answers along to each other. Uh, so let's go ahead and save that. And now we're going to select the first question. Let's just put in multiple choice. Of who was the first president of the United States? Put in some answer choices. Now we'll choose our answer key. There's Washington and we'll put in our point value. Now I can add more questions and in different question formats by selecting add question. And we can choose a different format here. We can do check boxes. We can do a short answer if we'd like to. Let's do short answer. Let's say, what is the tallest mountain in the world? And in my answer key, I'm going to add a correct answer. But because Everest is a correct answer, but my students might also write something like Mount Everest. They also might do something like MT period Everest. I want to put in all of those as correct and all other answers incorrect. And now we'll put in point value of five points. So now let's take a look at how the student will see this. Now I can distribute this to students by clicking on the send button and I can get a link to this. I can also post it into Google Classroom. Now the student will see it this way. So the student sees it this way, it sees that their email address is being collected, okay. puts in Washington, writes in Everest, hit submit. Now I can see the score and the point total. Now, if the student had done this incorrectly, uh, they would have seen that their answers were incorrect and they would have seen the correct responses. Now, if I don't want them to see the correct responses, again, go back into quizzes and you can disable those options there as well. So that's the basics of setting up a quiz in Google Forms. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com and freetechforteachers.com.